Hello all, this video is a solution to failure to fetch data while using the sudo apt in 32-bit operating system. I am using SD card formatter to format the SD card before writing operating system onto it and I am using the Raspberry Pi imager to write the operating system. I am selecting the 32-bit OS and then selecting the storage device. Now I get the settings icon under the settings icon i can set the host name i can enable ssh i can feed the username and password i can even uh, auto connect the wi-fi and then click on save click write this is how to write uh, using raspberry pi imager so you can do all the settings in the raspberry pi imager itself now remove the cord and uh, plug on to the uh, hardware i am using raspberry pi 3 and I'm opening putty SSH client and then typing in Raspberry Pi that is the host name just by typing in the host name you can open the putty window use the username and password I given it as Pi and uh, Raspberry using image you can change the uh, Pi and the username and the password and first I'm updating the software sudo apt update update is working after that, I am trying to install the XRDP, sudo apt install XRDP for remote desktop operation. It is trying to fetch the data, but finally it fails. Finally it shows fail to fetch from server, that is a Raspbian mirror. The connection is failed, but my Wi-Fi is working and it is OK but it fails to fetch uh, data from the Raspbian server. Uh, I am trying this uh, sudo apt iphone uh, iphone fix broken install that is of no use and then I am trying to open the etc forward slash apt forward slash sources dot list using sudo nano I am opening the apt sources dot list where it has got the ra raspbian repository servers here you can change the repository servers there is a, a list of servers are given in the website you can try that but it is of no use so solution is to rewrite the operating system I'm using the sd card formatter to format the sd card opening the raspberry pi imager select the operating system as 64 bit operating system instead of 32 bit I am selecting 64 bit and under settings uh, the previous settings I am uh, leaving there is a host name is raspberry pi and ssh is enabled username is pi and password is raspberry and wi-fi is auto connected to my wi-fi click on write now the 64 bit operating system is being written on the sd card using raspberry pi imager once it is over, uh, I am placing the SD card onto the, the hardware and uh, powering on. I am opening the putty software and then uh, feeding the host name uh, Raspberry Pi. Use, using the username as Pi and password as Raspberry, I am logging in. Now I have to, uh, I am just doing the update using sudo apt update and then installing the xrdp sudo apt install xrdp this is for remote uh, desktop connection headless connection in the previous 32 bit it failed to fetch the data from the server now it is fetching data it is okay it will take some time as it fetches data from the uh, raspbian server so the 64 bit os is working okay in the same Wi-Fi, it is fetching data from the Raspbian mirror server, but 32-bit failed. Now open the remote desktop. The remote desktop connection is uh, opening uh, using the Raspberry Pi name to connect. Now the login window opens, XRDP login window. Session is XORG, username is Pi and password is Raspberry. Click on OK. Now the remote desktop is connected. You can see the desktop. But this is in the case of Raspberry Pi 3. But if you are using the same setup using Raspberry Pi 4, 
this uh, remote desktop will display only a blue screen the solution is given in the next video you can watch the next video the link is given in the description below this video we have just clear we are by using the 64 bit operating system we have solved the solution of uh, uh, fail to fetch data from server thank you for watching